Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. My name is Chris Paradise. My name is Haskell Adler from Moffitt Cancer Center. And we had a presentation today on in licensing and out licensing. I gave a little bit of background on uh, the kinds of licensing issues you have in a small company, and then Haskell. And then I talked about uh, uh, Moffitt has a um, has uh, uh, has done about ninety licenses in the past uh, uh, since since two thousand three, and I talked today about the about the typical way that we go about licensing our technologies. And then I followed up with a little bit more information and there was a very interesting question and answer session where different people asked questions about, you know, what do they need to license? How do they license it? What kind of terms can they get? How do they figure out what the value of a, of a license is, either whether they're in licensing or out licensing? And, and then Haskell asked, answered qu several questions on uh, Moffitt's program and, and what they do as far as options. Maybe you want to talk about that? Yeah, so we typically, uh, we have intellectual property. We, we typically market it with what we call technolo technology offering memoranda that taught that uh, just a one-page document that talks about the commercial opportunity uh, and the technology um, and the patents, uh, patent scenario for that particular technology. Um, and then we follow that up, with, and then we market those documents to uh, to companies in the biomedical space. Uh, and then we typically, and then if there's interest, we follow that up with either an option or a license discussion. Uh, an option allows a, a company to basically test drive a technology for a three to six month period uh, before deciding whether to do a a more time consuming uh, license negotiation. And then we followed up with some more questions on the, the option versus licensing and, and which you should prefer. And, and finally, there was a significant question on, you know, how do you actually go about starting a company and, and how do you find out what kind of technologies are out there? And we addressed, you know, the, the different search um, sites that you can use, like google.com forward slash patents is good for doing a preliminary patent search, which anybody can get. It's an open tool that Google provides. And uh, then some of the proprietary tools, or even working with the High Tech Corridor, they have a matching grant program where they'll match up to 50% of a grant. If you want to have the University of University of South Florida does research for you, and they could do a, a literature search, and that can sometimes be a very efficient way of finding the technical literature that you're looking for for, for starting your company or a new idea, new product for your company. Yeah. So I also talked about how Moffitt has an uh, a entrepreneur in residence program, and we are uh, looking for. For, for experienced individuals uh, to, uh, to come to Moffitt and help mentor our startups. Um, and we also have a yearly business of biotech conference where we uh, have a number of panel discussions and we typically have a, a VC uh, uh, come and, and, and give, a, give a keynote presentation. Um, and, and we also have a session uh, where we have our faculty members who are interested in doing startups present to VCs to get feedback. And the Tampa Bay Innovation Center has several programs. We talked about the Startup Exchange, which is an initial program where we have free service providers and, and uh, business people that will provide information for anybody that shows up uh, through the uh, Meetup Tampa Bay. And I, and I guess uh, there, there was also some discussion of how the new uh, first to file uh, 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 rules uh, for the patent office will will affect a place like Moffitt and I and I was just uh, commenting to folks that we're actually pretty sensitive to to uh, uh, to the importance of first to file from because of foreign because the foreign filings have always been first to file and so uh, it may not affect us so much in the sense that we're always trying to patent stuff before before our researchers go out and and present at various meetings. Thank you for coming to this Tech Talk, and we hope to see a number of you at future Tech Talks.